Well, it looks as though he may have lost it towards the end of the season, but Paul de Resta prevailed in China and is the DTM champion of 2010. Naturally, being a touring car title winner has its benefits, perhaps a life-changing moment and a significant turning point in the Scots' career. I wouldn't say life changes. Life is very good at this moment. Um, it's an incredible feeling. You don't realise how big the DTM championship is until you win it. And um, I've came very close on the years up and coming too now, um, but it's just very nice to get it over and done with. Um, given such, that we had such a busy year doing both programmes with the DTM alongside the Formula 1 test and reserve driver. So, now it's been a, a, an incredible year for me, as I've said, and um, one year I won't forget, and I just hope um, that the future is bright like it has been this year. So, after a slightly bruising start, Paul's key to success is? Never give up. We didn't get the best start to the year, um, but we, you know, we plugged away. We had an excellent second half of the year. And um, all credit to the team because they gave me a car that was worthy of winning. And equally, you know, along with the mechanics, engineers and also drivers to develop the car onto the stage it has, has been this year to win 9 out of 11 races as a team effort. It's been great. And we also came first and second in the Constructors' Championship as well. Now, don't worry, it's not been forgotten. Maybe looking certain that Adrian Sutil will be retained. But how does Paul feel about the possibility of being his teammate next year? It's moving along, you know, I, I've made it very clear, you know, I want to be in a race seat at Force India. Um, they've given me a great opportunity to be part of that team this year. Uh, I've loved, been, loved doing that and, um, you know, I've showed them what I can do. Hopefully winning DTM can prove to them a bit more um, what, what I'm capable of doing. Um, but, you know, the decision is in their hands um, and, you know, I've just got to cross my finger and hope that I can get into Formula One, hopefully racing against some old rivals that have come through the, the junior ranks racing against. Mercedes powered and the highest placed non-former champion team in 2010. Well, Cindy certainly sounds like a positive option. Yeah, they are. They're a great team, uh, great ambitions. They're the, the up and coming team of Formula One at the moment. And equally, if I did go there, it'd be great because still keeping the relationship with Mercedes Benz and the star um, is great. Um, you know, they've been in, a great influence to my career up until now. I wouldn't be the man I am standing here. Uh, without a lot of key people. Um, Norbert saw something in me, Gerhard Unger saw something in me, and Hans-Werner Elfrig saw something. So, you know, a, a lot of credit goes to them. Uh, they're great friends as well as, you know, team bosses. Um, you know, and I wish them all the success in the future should we go our separate ways if I move on.